This is a guide on replacing a display assembly on the MacBook Pro 13 inch, model number A1706. For this repair you will need the following tools. A Pentalobe 1.2 screwdriver, a Torx 3 screwdriver, a Pentalobe 0.8 screwdriver, a Torx 5 screwdriver, a plastic spudger, a Torx 7 screwdriver, and tweezers. To begin, disconnect the power cord and hold the power button for 5 seconds to shut down the computer. Flip the laptop over and using a Pentalope 1.2 screwdriver remove the 6 bottom cover screws. The 2 screws near the hinge are longer than the 4 screws on the front edge. Pry open the front edge of the cover and snapping 2 mountings underneath. Turn the laptop around and slide the cover away from the hinge. Using a Torx 3 screwdriver, remove two right hinge cover screws. Remove the right hinge cover. Remove two more screws from the left hinge cover. Remove the left hinge cover. Using a Pentalope 0.8 screwdriver, begin removing screws holding the Wi Fi antenna assembly on the right side. There are six screws in total. Proceed on removing 6 more screws on the left side of the Wi-Fi antenna assembly. Using a Torx 3 screwdriver, remove 2 screws securing the right cable shield. Remove the shield. Remove 2 screws securing the video connector shield. Remove the shield. Remove 2 more screws holding the left cable shield. Remove the shield. Remove 2 screws holding the video cable bracket. Remove the bracket. Using a Torx 5 screwdriver, remove 4 screws holding the LCD driver board. Using a plastic spudger, gently disconnect the video connector and bend it back. The Wi Fi antenna assembly is in the way and needs to be repositioned temporarily. Using a plastic spudger, disconnect the 3 coaxial antenna connectors. Using a Torx 5 screwdriver, remove the antenna cabling grounding screw. Using a plastic spudger, carefully pry up the antenna assembly from the center positioning slot and pull it away by about 1 inch. At this point, the LCD driver board is almost free. Using a Torx 3 screwdriver, remove two screws holding the black plastic cable tensioner on the right. Remove two more screws holding the black plastic cable tensioner on the left. At this point, the display assembly is only held in place with the hinge screws. Using a Torx 7 screwdriver, proceed on removing the hinge screws. Remove two screws on the left side, then two more screws on the right side. Untighten the remaining two screws on each side of the hinge but do not remove them just yet. Carefully pull the main body away from the display to open the hinge to about 30 degrees. Remove the remaining two hinge screws. Very gently continue opening the hinges to about 120 degrees, at which point the display assembly can be unhooked from the main body. Note the degree of the hinge on the original display assembly. The new assembly needs to match that angle to go in freely. Take out the new assembly and free up the LCD driver board from any securing tape. Remove the protective plastic from the display. Using a screwdriver, gently open up the right hinge in two steps to the approximate 120 degrees. Use the same technique to open up the left hinge. Gently bend away and hold down the LCD driver assembly and cable tensioners. Thread the main body onto the hinges from the top. Then, placing both thumbs on the hinges, carefully bring down the main body flat with the display assembly and push down the hinges. Replace, but do not tighten, two screws in the right hinge. Then replace, but do not tighten, two more screws in the left hinge. The display assembly floats freely on the hinges and it needs to be aligned with the body. Using your fingers, align the two front corners to make the display assembly sit flush with the body. 
securely tighten the hinge screws. Replace the remaining two screws, one in the left hinge and the other in the right hinge. Using a Torx 3 screwdriver, secure two screws on the left black plastic cable tensioner. Secure the right black plastic cable tensioner with two more screws. Bend the LCD driver board back in place and slide the Wi-Fi antenna assembly behind it while guiding the coaxial antenna cables with tweezers. Carefully snap in the three coaxial antenna connectors one by one. Using a spudger, align the antenna grounding loop with a corresponding hole and replace a Torx 5 screw securing the cables. Realign the cables using the spudger. Replace four Torx 5 screws securing the LCD driver board. Reconnect the video connector. Secure the video connector bracket with two Torx 3 screws. Replace the video connector shield and secure it with two Torx 3 screws. Replace the six Pentalobe 0.8 screws securing the Wi Fi assembly on the left. Replace six more Pentalobe 0.8 screws securing the Wi Fi assembly on the right. Replace the plastic hinge cover on the left and secure it with two Torx 3 screws. Replace the plastic hinge cover on the right and secure it with two Torx 3 screws. Place the rear cover about one quarter inch from the hinge and slide it in place. Replace the four Pentalobe 1.2 screws in the upper edge. Replace the two longer Pentalobe 1.2 screws near each hinge. Flip the laptop over and remove the protective plastic and the logo plastic. Turn the laptop on and we're done.